Bo Mattiasson and uh, I am retired professor at Lund University in Sweden. Now I am uh, in charge of a small company, Capsense Biosystems AB. Uh, we do quite a lot of development of biosensors and uh, also studying applications of biosensors. Uh, the stability by far, but also uh, the uh, selectivity. Uh, we have seen that we have got MIPS that are more selective than antibodies. But uh, especially if you go for, for monitoring in, in environmental uh, systems like wastewater or other rather polluted areas, then MIPS are definitely the choice to take. Yeah, the most important features uh, of MIPS is certainly the uh, stability, the robustness, and that uh, when you deal with biosensors, you want to be able to use them for extended period of time repeatedly, and that that is something that MIPS are, are fulfilling. There are a lot of potential applications. I mentioned environmental. Uh, drug abuse. Uh, we are also involved in projects to help the police to trace where drug factories are located by analyzing in the sewage system. Uh, MIPS are better than antibodies because uh, they are uh, robust. Uh, they can stand high temperatures. You don't need to have a cold uh, chain which you use uh, need to have if you have antibodies you you cannot allow them to to be transported when they arrive by airplane and stand waiting for someone to pick them up so from that point of view the MIPS could stand it but the antibodies no I, I, I actually have two fields uh, one is the analytical field the other one is remediation of pollutants and uh, in remediation of pollutants, then MIPS uh, can play a very important role. Since uh, there are many pollutants that are present in very low concentrations. And normal systems, they don't... Uh, normal, that means systems that have been used before. They will not capture the, these compounds. But uh, MIP with a high affinity will capture it and then you can enrich it and then you can distract it. So in, in that area, MIPS are certainly very important. And in uh, diagnostics uh, and in, I would say, biosensor for process and environmental monitoring, you can see many very interesting future applications.